What's up, guys? We are here in the brand new game, Eve Echoes. It just launched today. Uh, so we've been playing this game pretty much non-stop today. It's a brand new game. Got to jump in. Uh, pretty excited for it. Never played Eve Online before, but heard a lot about it. Um, her, you know, Eve Online is just legendary, and this is essentially what they said is a mobile version of the game. Kind of like the game, but just watered down a little bit. So, we jumped in here not knowing anything at all. We didn't play any of the betas, didn't play in the alpha. I looked at a couple of videos beforehand and a little bit of research on kind of what, uh, you know, what the very beginning is. So let's talk you guys through this in case you want to play, because it is a free-to-play game. You can jump in on uh, Android or iOS. And, yeah, um, day one, this is... A very unique experience I'll, I'll just say that I'm not gonna say it's good or bad yet so uh, it's a free-to-play game you have skill points and the free-to-play players will get 30 skill points a minute and then the paying players will get either I think it's 45 a minute or 60 a minute depending on how much they pay and that is a uh, monthly subscription so it already has pay to win aspects there and it's even worse than what you would think they'd be like oh, okay skill points someone's going to be slightly stronger um yes they're going to be slightly stronger but this also actually locks you out of a lot of content so you have an overall account level so at the very top there it says current tech level we're currently level four 92 percent going up the only way for this to go up is for real life time to actually pass so you can see in order to get it to level five we're going to need approximately 14 hours 52 minutes and 53 seconds uh, that's because we are the premium 60 points per minute uh, subscription so that was one of the things that i learned beforehand is that if you're going to play the game you have to treat it as a subscription based game and you have to you know buy subscription day one so I figured, hey, there's a lot of people that love EVE Online. The, this is kind of like one of the most popular games from the early 2000s. It's been around forever, EVE. So I was like, okay, it's worth a shot. It's 15 bucks for this big subscription. Let's do it. So we did that. The problem with the beginning of the game is the tutorial that they give you is optional, for one. So let's show you the tutorial, what they do here completed basic so basic tutorial so it's going to take you on this path this is the very first mission that they teach you um, how to rotate the camera how to zoom in zoom out very basic stuff how to move you're like okay cool and so you have your ship you squeeze your fingers and push in and out to zoom in zoom out slide with one finger right or left to move your ship around you're like hey this is pretty cool you know i got a spaceship I'm gonna, you know, blow shit up. So you're like, okay, that that's kind of cool. You know, that, that makes sense. Next up, they go to the docking station. Okay, so in this game, pretty much the towns in the world, everything is in space. So you have space stations. So you got to go dock, and then you can unload, repair your ship, and things like that. So that makes sense. Um, you're like, okay, you're going to go and dock, repair... And you can't carry that much stuff because your ship is tiny, so you got to put it in storage somewhere. So that makes sense. Next up, you get into the skill points and improving your abilities. And so this is where it got stupid right away. Is This one was raise your skill points to level 2. So in order to get to level 2, like we talked about earlier with the skill points... You actually needed to wait, I think it was 30 minutes real time. So if you start the game, you do the first two quests, and then you're stuck for like 15 minutes or 20 minutes waiting for the time to pass so you can level up your skills. So you can get to level 2 so you can complete this quest. Uh, very, very stupid. Like, horrendously stupid. I, I just I can't believe that. Um, and they don't have to tell you anything else really to do at that point. Then they teach you more about skill training.
Next, it's claim new ship. So they teach you how to change your ship. So you go to the space stations, you dock your ship, and then if that space station has more ships that you own, you can swap them out. You can only ride one ship at a time. You have a little escape pod in case you die. Uh, I guess that's always on you. So in case you die, then your little escape pod's there, and you're like, wee, fly off. Um, so it's like, okay, so they give you, I believe, a, a secondary ship right there. You're like, all right, that makes sense. Then they go into claim new ship, activate a new ship, and then they go into eliminate pirates. So they tell you, they, they teach you how to fight in this game. And you're like, cool, I'm going to dodge, maneuver around with my ship and blow stuff up with my lasers and things like that and missiles. And uh, yeah, no. You're really not doing any of that. You are simply going in to a zone. So let's see, we're warping into a zone right now. You're going to click a button that says lock on. So there will be a button right to the, like, right of your ship. Kind of like this right here. And I'll be like, click on it. And it will lock on to all the red enemies that are nearby. At three at the first time. And then you can go up further once you've upgraded the skill. So you click on the button, you click on lock on. And you're like, okay, so how do I fire? Well, you have these missiles and weapons and items that you equip your ship with. So you click on the item, and then it starts a cooldown. So once you click on it, it actually shoots a missile. These are missiles, rocket launchers or missile launchers. And then it has a cooldown, and then it's like it's on auto fire. So you're literally sitting there. We'll show you in just a second how combat is. So you're literally sitting there, and these things are just... Stop this. These missiles are just going on cooldown, and you're like, oh, okay. They're firing. They're firing at the enemies that I'm locked on on. Like, okay, and then you see them shooting at you, and you're like, oh, okay, I don't dodge, I don't do anything, well, what, do, what do I do? And you literally do nothing. You literally just click the buttons that are your weapons to attack once. So I'll show you here. Oh, we need a target. You click the buttons to attack once. So let's find something to attack. All right, so here's the auto target thing that I told you about earlier. You click this button, and now it locks on to all the ships that are nearby. And now, to attack them, you just simply click your buttons on the bottom right, and you can see the cooldown start going, so like, hey, I'm attacking. And when it fills all the way up, it will shoot the next missile shot or laser shot or whatever you're doing. And you literally do nothing. Literally nothing. So we are going to sit here, and we're going to kill all these. So like, we just killed that one. This one's being targeted right now. The missiles are, are shooting it. Like, I think we just took five points of damage there. Minus zero. They missed. Uh, literally nothing. And so over here, in the tutorial, you, you start to take some damage and stuff. And they show you, like, hey, use this right here. This button repairs your shield. Same thing. And it's got that same cooldown. You're like, oh, okay. Repairs the shield. And then you're like, oh, what the heck is this? Like, oh, maybe something. Maybe something actually, I do something here. But this, no, this is just like a power gauge. So this, once it gets down to zero, you can't fire any of your weapons and your missiles and any of that stuff. Like, you're just waiting because you're overheated, essentially. I think that's what the term is in this game. So next up, you have waves. So we just killed the first one. And now we're, we're floating in space and we targeted the new wave of five ships that have appeared and they're just getting blown up. And we're literally just sitting here doing nothing. Like, I don't understand how people enjoy this. But I am dedicated to give this, you know, a month's time. I put in the sub. I'm going to give it a month's time to see how this works out because I know a lot of people say... Eve is a player versus player game. So how's that going to work? 
how's the combat going to be when you fight other players? Because literally, you need to have some kind of control, or it's just like cooldowns against cooldowns against ship build. Like, I don't know. There are also some enemies that do, you know, hit you pretty hard. But, yeah. So, they show you that. That's the combat of the game. I'm like, wow. And then, let's finish up the tutorial here. Because I think we're, like, at the last step of the tutorial. Yep. Fit a ship. So, they show you how to fit a ship. Which is how to customize your ship with different parts. The advancement pass. So let's click on this because I don't even remember what this was. Those who wander the galaxy are always like to leave some supplies along the way. In that case, they need them later. Every station offers free inventory services, transfer fitting, reprocessing, selling, destruction, and so on. So it just tells you that every space station has stuff that you can put in as an inventory and you can pick it up later. And people might want you to move it to a different space station because they're lazy because it takes real time to move everything around. So literally, that is the end of the tutorial. They show you how to fight, quote-unquote. And they tell you that there's space stations out in the world, and you can buy ships, and then you can customize your ships. And then they just leave you in the middle of nowhere, like, huh, what to do? They have an advanced tutorial that is actually locked behind a time gate as well. So advanced tutorial number one, you cannot do because you need to be level three, I believe it is. Skill level three to unlock this one. Stupid, stupid, stupid game design. So there were so many people in the beginning of this game that had no clue what the heck they were doing. Just like me asking in the chat because there's a nice thing. There's a local chat. So you can talk to people around, but unfortunately, even though there was hundreds of people around and that number in the bottom left there, so there's two. There's two people right now in this little galaxy, solar system, whatever it is. Uh, if you chat there, it would all go to all those people and you can talk to them. No one, literally no one was helpful for the first few hours of this game. People would ask me, like, what do you do? I don't know what to do. How do like, and they're just like, find it. Go find stuff. But like, really? Like, how elitist and how, like, snobbish are you? You've been playing E for 15 years or so or whatever, and you're, like, not going to help the newbies that have no idea what the hell they're in for, and now they're just like, this game sucks because there's literally nothing new. You're just wandering off in space doing nothing. You don't even fight, like you don't even dodge or interact with anything. So after about an hour or so of just clicking around buttons and trying to figure out, because that's what I like to do, I like to just explore the games myself, I figured out what the heck you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to click on your character portrait and then go down to this thing that says encounters. You click on encounters. And Encounters has a thing that says news, story, and tutorials. You would think that you go to the tutorials, but that just takes you to the very basic tutorial in case you skipped it in the beginning. You definitely want to do it and unlock the stuff that they give you there. Then you might be like, okay, let's do the story mode. Huh? I still have no idea what the heck this is. I have no idea. Um at all what this is but you can click on certain things and you can see it has some kind of a mission but you can't like accept it it looks like so what we've discovered now after playing for a day is that these are uh, missions that you do maybe and you unlock all this stuff and then you get this um, not sure but that's what it looks like right now is that these are like prerequisites that you need to do before you can actually unlock the story missions. So yeah, so you can't do anything in the story. So then lastly, you're up to this. News. And you're like, oh, hey, cool. News. 
Rewards. Cool. Rewards. This looks like a mission. This looks like something that I can do, maybe, and have some fun. Maybe actually do something in-game. Well, you're correct. You can do something in-game. But it's not necessarily fun. You don't really do anything. So let's show you here. So encounters, news. You can have two quests equipped at the same time. And so if you look at here, this will tell you how far away these missions are 13 jumps that's that warp speed thing that we showed you in the very beginning of this video that was like whoosh, whoosh. like yeah that screen that we were on and it takes about a minute for each jump so this is approximately 13 minutes away to get 3000 isk which is the the, the currency in this game so very, very uh, poor for the time that's going to take to get there. On the bright side is what we found out is that you can actually click on accept. They already have two missions over here. So they go over here to your journal. So you can click on accept. And then once you have, oh, we can have three now. Cool. So once you have the mission there, you click on it and you click begin. And you're going to autopilot to the mission. <gasps> so I guess we should have probably killed those two remaining little things there. But oh well. So yeah, so this is the warp. We're flying. We're three jumps away. So this is going to be approximately three minutes away to get to the mission. And when we get to the mission, what we're going to have to do there is... Annihilate all enemies at the mission beacon. So we're going to do a fight. We're going to end up fighting those enemies. But unfortunately, we're not really fighting. Like, the combat is extremely lame so far. Hopefully it opens up. It could be that we are just using, like, ranged missiles so the combat doesn't actually do anything. Or maybe, like, the auto combat is on and you have to take the auto combat off to actually do something in this game. I don't know. And then, so, the mission has a three-hour time. So, if you don't do it, you end up failing. Uh, you can abandon the mission as well because, again, you can only equip two, I believe, at the beginning of the game. For right now, we're up to three. So the bright side is that like we can do other random crap while we're flying to this location. So that's what as we were flying around and learning this game, I was clicking literally on like every single menu because there's a lot of menus. There's a lot of buttons to press. There's a lot of stuff that I still don't understand about the game. And as we are flying around, you know, wasting time getting to the locations, I'm trying to research and trying to understand and trying to read these uh, you know, menus and trying to figure out what the heck industry is, trying to figure out what the heck, uh, you know, planetary production is, and so forth. So when we arrive, so we've got to the location. Now it's like, okay, do you want to warp to the anomaly? And this is just a fancy way of saying go warp to your own instance. So no one can, you know, mess you up or screw you over or kill you or steal your loot. So this is taking you to, like, I believe an instance where it's only you fighting against these enemies. At least that's my understanding of this. Because I've never seen any other players fighting my enemies that I'm trying to do these missions on. So I'm assuming that these are all instants. So again, we have three enemies there. Go ahead and click on the attack button and we click on the weapons and fire away it's so much fun guys like i mean literally most of the time you don't even see enemies or anything like that because most of the time you're just like chilling out like this you don't even have the screen where you can see your ship or i mean you just chill like this and you're like yeah i got a cool ship i shoot some, some little laser things out of my ship missiles yeah, killed some stuff. Like, uh, this game is uh, is crazy infuriating because like it should be so much better. From what I've heard of Eve Online, this game should be 
like five times better than this. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm playing it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> One of the worst things is though, that even now to the day, you can go to like the main city, the main space station where there's a thousand people and it's queued out where you can't even get in anymore. The people there you're chatting, they, they're not even helpful. Like there's a thousand people online and you ask a question, they're not going to even help you or at, like answer your question. They're just going to be dicks and just like ignore you. It's like, it's crazy. It's, it's maddening. I don't know. Like the population here is so elitist and so like do it yourself. Join a guild. And that's another thing, too. So one of the, the advanced missions, once you became level 3, which after the time gate of getting to level 3, you had to join a guild. So I think it's called a corporation or a fleet in this. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a corporation. So you got to join a corporation. You don't have to, but you get a, a ton of skill points. So you click on join a corporation, right? And there was like one or two here. And you're like, man, this is weird. Why are there no guilds recruiting? Well, the thing is, in order to make a guild in this game, it costs 203 million isk or something like that. Like 200 million isk. Some crazy amount. I've played almost 20 hours today. Like I pretty much nonstop. And the total amount of isk that I've gotten has been maybe 5 million. Maybe. Like, I've spent some, used some, bought a ship, uh, bought some items off the marketplace, and so forth. Like, yeah. So I may have had about 5 million. So what I guess happens is, because I went on the Discord to figure out, like, hey, what's going on? And people are asking about this. Like, how was it? Why is it so hard to join a corporation? And so forth. And so that's where I found out it cost 200-something million isk to make a corporation and then the corporation will tax you so that's why i'm not in a corporation so i joined the corporation joined the guild got the bonus skill points and then i left because what i found is that the guild was actually taking 10 percent or higher depending on how they set the tax of everything that i earn and i'm like uh no 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 no, no. I'm, I'm not paying a 10 percent tax to be in a guild with random people that have no idea what they're doing just like me. Because that's exactly what it was. This group was people that had no idea. Their mail was even like, I don't really know what we're doing. The guy said he like, took out a $200 million loan. So I guess the game allows you to take a loan out for starting a guild. Uh, but you had to have like $3 million isk to start the guild. So it's just like, it's crazy, 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 crazy stuff. So once I figured out they were, you know, taking money from me, I was like, uh-uh, leave a guild, get out of here. Because all I wanted was the skill points that they gave us. So once you're done with the quest, and we've killed all the enemies there, so engaging, so fun, right guys? We clicked on the quest giver over here, and then it's like, hey, quest is complete, quest is done. And you end up getting your reward, so it goes to your money. So you can see we got 1.1 million, and then you are done with that. Let's go into the looting. So, like, yeah, there's some loot in this game, too. So, you click on this, um, like, eyeball thing. And you click on the top, and I'll have the drop-down menu. So, this is a way to travel around, like, stations, stargates, uh, cosmic anomaly, or, like, where enemies are, where you fight them out in the open world. And then you click on loot. And so, you can click on loot, and you're like, okay, I'm going to go loot. So, you're going to go loot. It's too far away, of course, so you need to get closer to it. You, If you don't have this, like, rocket ship thing, it takes you forever to fly. So, like, this is like a speed booster. So this is our speed right here. And we're going, like, 500 milliseconds. If you don't have it, you go, like, 200 or 100 or something like that. So, like, if we turn this off, let's see what we go down to. And you can see we're, we need to go to 41 km to get there. So if we turn it off, it goes to about 300. So not terrible, I guess. It just feels slow. So you got to have that on to speed up your thing. And you're like, okay, cool, yay. Like, uh, 
so engaging, guys. I don't know. This this is gonna be the the king of the app store. So once we end up getting to the thing, we end up looting the ship, the debris, the wreckage, and we'll get an item or two. Thankfully, you don't have to go the full distance. You only have to go about 10. So once it gets to like 10 km, you'll be able to loot the ship. But you can see, it, this game is literally just time sync after time sync after time sync. It's pretty much like perfect for mobile. All these time syncs everywhere. But unfortunately, there's no like speed instant boost go now. Whereas most of the mobile games where they give you a timer, a clock to play. They're like, okay, you gotta wait five minutes. They'd be like, or oh, pay gems to speed this up and do it instantly. You can't do that in this game. You can't instantly speed up the stuff. Like, uh... So you loot, you get some stuff. And you're all done now. Now you're on to the next quest. And so literally you're going to click on your portrait, you're going to go to encounters, and you're going to do the next quest that you can do. This right here is a refresh button. So like... If we click the refresh button, it'll give us new missions and new quests. And they're going to be closer to you. So some are very valuable. It's so like this one right here is really good. It's 70,000, which is a lot of money. And it's zero jumps away. It's right next to us. So we're going to do this one because it's a lot of money and it's really close. Some are really, really bad. Like 3,000. You're like, eh. What we've also figured out after playing is that there's a little icon here. And this does something. And it has a check mark because we've completed this quest. So if you click on it, and you, then you go over here to the right where it says this like mission assignments, it has four quests, and they're checked off these boxes. So it looks like once we complete all four of these, we're gonna end up getting a special box that's gonna have some RNG stuff in it. So you're going to want to do each one of these missions that you haven't done, even if it's far away and even if it doesn't give you much isk. So like, so this one doesn't have any of these combo pieces whatsoever. Another thing to note is that the refresh, you can do it every 30 minutes. So a lot of times you'll have garbage missions and you won't want to do any of them. So you just wait 30 minutes, click the refresh, and maybe you'll find something better. So like here, so we're going to probably want to do this uh, traditional dash because we haven't done that one and then we also want to do that gifts for oh we're gonna actually equip a, a lot now ah, that's cool yeah so in the beginning we'd only equip two all right so which one do we want to do right now 18 jumps we don't want to do that one um 16 jumps don't want to do that one zero jumps we want to do this one and i mean it's typical mmorpg you don't read any of the quest shit because it doesn't matter. It just doesn't bullshit and like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Like, literally, they don't tell you crap. It's just garbage. It's just there for flavor. But yeah, so, so far, this is Eve Echoes. If this is the kind of game that you want to play, uh, you can download it for free on the App Store or the uh, the Android Store. It just came out today, so everyone is a complete noob for the most part, except for like the, the veterans out there that have been playing for 10 years on EVE Online and won't help you. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some nice people out there that will help you, but I have yet to run into anyone that is uh, friendly, really, in this game. Anyway, guys, there's nothing else to really talk about right now, so that's the game. Um... Hopefully this gave you an understanding of what Eve Echoes is. If you want to play it, if you want to check it out, post down in the comment section. If I'm doing this completely wrong, post down in the comment section. Um, if you have any ideas on what I should be doing that I'm not doing, if I'm you know, just messing everything completely up, uh, post down in the comment section. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Love to know more. And yeah, we're going to keep at this, like I said, probably for about a month to see how 
fun it can be, maybe, knock on wood, hopefully it gets better. Um, although it is slow, I have been like, okay, let's see what's going to happen. Like, I'm curious, I'm intrigued why people like this game so much that it's been alive for nearly 20 years on the PC. Uh, so I'm very, very curious what the hook is to this game. Is it just because it's a, a spaceship game and there's billions of light years and galaxies and things like that? Is that the only reason that EVE Online is so popular and just like legendary? I don't know. We'll find out why, because this is essentially the same game. Oh, whoa. We died. That was different. Ah. All right, so let's see what happens now. Your ship has been destroyed. Pilot, we recommend you autopilot to Chago Moon 1. Okay, so at least something different happened. I know that you have permadeath in this, so we just lost our ship. We just lost all the stuff there, but at least something different happened, and yeah, uh, that's cool. So I'm happy I died. Like, I'm literally happy I died. First time for everything. Do you want to travel by autobite to the mission location? Uh, yes. Alright guys, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and yeah, you guys got me killed. I wasn't clicking my little shield button.